Hi, friends. I am trying to figure out. I hope this is working better today. I am trying to share this into my group. Um, so it's something new I'm trying and I hope it works. So that being said, I'm back. I'm here. So I don't know what's going on here. All right. We're going to try this. Am I live? I think I'm live. My uh, panel looks weird today. I tell you, if it's not one thing with technology, it's another. So in case you're just joining me and you didn't know what happened yesterday, yesterday I came on to do my live and I was, I got started and I had crappy, crappy Wi-Fi. I am not able to plug into my router. It's not an option. I, my craft room is downstairs. My router is upstairs. It works awesome all the time, but not yesterday. So I've updated everything. I've cleaned everything out. This is still looking wonky, but so say hello when you join me, if you join me and we will go ahead and get started. We're going to do a redo. Hi, Deb. Thanks for joining me. I see you. So that means everything's going well. All right. So we're going to just start and pretend like yesterday did not happen. So welcome. So my name is Cheryl Wright, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from northeastern Montana. I have been a demonstrator for 11 years. It's an awesome, awesome job or hobby, whichever you want. And we are going to go ahead and get started while the internet's working because my family's coming home shortly and that's what makes things go wonky. I don't know why. Hmm. Nope. That's not it. I just have a bar across where I can see who's usually live and who's not with me. So thank you, Deb. Anyway, if it's not one thing, it's another, isn't it? Welcome in is the new, look how clear my camera is today is the new paper pumpkin kit that is coming. It is awesome. There is an optional uh, add-on that you can get those three little dies at the bottom there for $6. Um, so if you are interested in this, it coordinates with the country in suite of products in the new annual catalog. So, and then we have online exclusives and kits available. This is our newest one. Maybe not. We might have gotten a newer one since then. Hmm. I know what I can do to fix my thing. Oh, I fixed it. One little click. I tell you, I was messing around trying to figure something out. Um, the bar across the screen. I can't go any lower. I know some people have mentioned that they would like to see that. I tried to fix it so it's lower, but this is the screen. Uh Oh, oh there we go. This is the screen and that's all I can do with it. Um, that's the screen size. So unless you don't want to see my face, but that's where my audio is. So I don't know what to tell you. Okay. So we are using the Hey Chuck stamp set from page 49 in the catalog. There are some absolutely adorable projects in here. You may remember if you've hung out with Stampin' Up! very long that we had a Hey Chick stamp set. Actually, we had two. We had Hey Chick and Hey Birthday Chick, and they were very popular, especially that crazy-haired chicken. Oh, I loved her. So anyway, they've made probably what you call a male version. So these are the roosters. Hmm. Sorry about that. These are the roosters. And we are going to go ahead and have some fun with the roosters while we have internet. It was not this clear yesterday. I'm so thankful that it's back. So, hey, Chuck, it's got this guy in his underwear, which I just think is hilarious. And I'd like to get the hey, Chick out and the hey, Chuck and make some cards. I think it'd be great, but I haven't done that yet. Um, anyway, and it has the add-ons or not the add-ons, the dies that coordinate with it. Um, it has a couple extras, the sun that we're going to use a couple times and the weather vane. So, and everything else that just cuts out the pieces of the 
the stamp set. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I think we're going to start. Why am I closing that? I'm going to need it. We're going to do things just a little differently today. And we're going to start by stamping. I need three of the roosters. So instead of stamping and then cutting it out and doing that card and the stamp, we're just going to do all the coloring and stamping of the roosters right now. So I'm going to use three different ones and we're going to go ahead and get started with the guy in his underwear with, I think, oh, I'm shaking the camera. Very sorry. Very sorry about that. I think he's just a kick in the pants. I tell you. <laughs> oh, fun, fun, fun. Someone had a sense of humor when they came up with this plan. I have not used this one yet. I've used that one a couple times. I want to make sure it's inking correctly. Since it's not on my card, I have no problem not doing a practice one. And then there's this guy. This guy's hilarious also. Now this is a class. So I know in yesterday's bio, I put free class or in, not bio, um, introduction. This is a class. So I'm going to show you how to make three different cards. Hi, Mary. And if you like these cards, you can copy them. If you have all the supplies for them, if you want me to send you the supplies for them, then you can go online and order from me at stampinup.com and you can use this host code to and I will send you two of each of the card kits to make this. I can't do any of the stamping for you. That's all on you. But oh hey chick there you go. He you could draw a pair of underwear on one of them but yeah that one gal was just hilarious. So anyway that's my card class. So for a $40 order you'll get two of all the cutout pieces. So you'll get two of all of these pieces for your, to make these cards. If you, if your order is $50 or more, then I will send you a tutorial bundle that has 44 tutorials in it and a embellishment. So that's what the plan is. Um, I haven't cut out this month's kits yet, but I will get them out very soon. I'm hoping. And, um, the link to do that is, let me grab the link to do that in the, with the host code. Please use the host code unless your order is over $150. And then I, um, I will send those things to you. Now, if I have a run on something, it might take me a little bit longer because I have enough supplies to do some, but not many. How's that? Okay. Um, and your orders have to be in by next, since we're doing this late. Let's just say your orders have to be in by next Thursday, June 1st. We'll do the whole week. So, all right. Well, I know I want this guy in red boxers with his little polka dots. I have, we live on a farm and we are still trying to get our crops in. We're having a little rain right now, which is a blessing, especially since we are our seeding tractor is broke down. So my son had to go clear across the other side. Actually, he had to go clear over by Minneapolis to get a part. Well, actually, he got to meet it kind of in the middle where he went to college. But um, so I'm very grateful that it has rained because... So, yes. So I've had my granddaughter a lot lately. And um, 
yeah, it's just been a lot. <laughs> but now I get to get caught up on a few things. My daughter, I don't know if I wanted that one, that color. I didn't think about what colors I wanted my chickens. My, oh, my roosters. My roosters. I guess they're all chickens, aren't they? It's just that they're not all hens. These are... These are the fellas. Yes, I said I live on a farm, but I don't have chickens. I'm not a I'm not a chicken lady. My son has chickens, but not this girl. All right, I want I'm trying to think what colors I want them. This one's going on that one. This one, this one can be, I don't know what color chickens are. What color are chickens? I'll use some more browns. I got the inks already, but I didn't get the coloring inks all out for the chickens. So, and sadly, I still have some retired colors in my mix. Let's see what these will do. Yeah, look at this guy. Something to crow about. So I usually do my lives Thursdays at five, but yesterday, yesterday the internet decided that I really didn't need to be live. It thought I needed to spend time on the phone with our internet provider instead, which I disagree with. Very nice lady, helped me through a lot of different things with modems and routers and all that technical jargon. And we found that it might be my Apple products because I have a Mac and an iPhone because my husband's Android phone had no problems. Actually, that's not true. It was slow at first, but then it caught on pretty fast. Um, but we had to reboot everything and update everything and yeah. So we're doing all the coloring for all three cards right now. So thank you for your patience. And if you're watching on replay, you can speed through this part. All right. This one. This one could be male or female. And we're going to go ahead and... My problem is, is I don't have any chickens, so I forget what color they are. I think they all should be yellow. That one's... <laughs> Anybody have any idea, good ideas for what color chickens are? Chicken colors. All right, yellows, greens. This is lemon lolly, maybe. We'll add a little lemon, lemon lolly. I use the Memento ink because I knew I was going to be using my blends. The blends and the Memento ink are what go together best. Um, if you're using water-based things, use the Stazon ink. That will be better. So my family just got home or one of my family members just got home. So hopefully when their phones connect to the internet, we won't get booted off. Not off. Oh, the picture was just horrible. Oh, I saw a, a glitch there, but yeah. You, of course, can color your chickens any color you want or your hens or your, no, they're chickens. I don't know if I want that color. 
I don't know if I want Daffodil Delight on that one. All right, I need another color. taken all these out. I did everything but the blends. I forgot about the blends. There they are. They're hiding. Okay, dark lemon lolly. I took a wonderful coloring class time, but I need to do more of it because I did not retain much of it. I just know I'm supposed to be using three colors and I'm lucky if I get two on here. All right. Anyone have any big plans for the weekend? I know I asked that yesterday and actually had some good responses. Hanging with family and picnicking and whatever else. If you're joining me, go ahead and say hello in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Tell me where you're from. If you have any plans for the weekend. We are farming. And trying to find things for the garage sale next weekend. That we are a part of. Because... Like many, we have too much stuff. Just out and out, we have too much stuff. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Is this the color I want? Sure. I'm using the Hey Chuck set. You don't want to comment, just like or give me some kind of feedback. All right, chicken ladies or gentlemen. I have not used my wild wheat blends yet. I think we'll do some shading with those. Then we're going to cut these out and assemble some cards. I have some fun ones for you today. These blends are alcohol-based markers. And they are fun. You can just keep adding whatever colors you want. And they blend so, so, so nicely. I usually like the brush tip, but this tip is working just right for me. So that might be our chickens. Our roosters. This is darker than I was thinking. It's okay. I was grabbing the light one again, but I grabbed the dark one. But it works. Okay. And I'm going to use one more. So if you're new, um, to Stampin' Up or whatever. These are our Stampin' Blends markers and they have two tips. So there's the bullet point and the brush tip and they are alcohol-based markers and they are sold in packs of two. So you light and a dark of the same color. And we have them in all our colors. So there's our roosters. I might need more color on hand, but we're good for now. So we also have, I told you we have dies for these. And I'm going to use some post-it note tape. Post-it note tape. You can use washi tape. You can use um, post-it notes. I get a little more usability out of the post-it note tape. So, oh, I forgot to color his tongue. 
I have a feeling his tongue is going to be light, real red. I think that's a good color. And I forgot his, eye, his eye, eyelid. He was the dark colors. This will be good enough. There. Oh, he has an eyelid. I forgot the eyelid. Oh, I forgot the eyelid's on her, too. Or him. I don't know. This one's a guy. The rest of them can be either one. I guess. Like I said, I don't know much about chickens. All right, this one. No. Yes. So then we're going to match these up over the top of them. And I'm going to tack them down with some post-it note tape so they don't move. And then we'll have all of our chicken stamping done, our rooster stamping. And we can just carry on with our projects. Okay. Stampin' Up! used to have a magnetic plate, but even that isn't 100%. After you do all your coloring, I like to make sure that it's not going to move. So, Stampin' with friends this weekend. Awesome! You'll need Chuck to go with Chick. Yep, you'll probably need Chuck to go with Chick. What kind of stamping are you going to do your friends, Mary? Are you doing a workshop or just getting together or what kind of fun stuff? All right. So this is our little cut and emboss machine, stamp and cut and emboss machine. Um, and you drop down the little side arms and we're going to need some plates and it tells you exactly what's on the plates, what you need them for. So this one is for embossing folders. We're not doing that. So we're not doing that at all today. Another embossing folder. So we need these three, we hope. I have come to the, dis the, the deciding, I've decided. There you go. That some of our dies are maybe a little thicker than others. So sometimes you have to kind of play with your plates. This little machine is available in blue for a while. This trick is getting it caught in the machine just right. Um, it's available in blue. Let me turn it this way. Um, for until they're sold out. It was a join offer. Okay, when it won't go and you've tried, you can try a different plate and try it again. Like I said, I think some of our plates are just made a little thicker or a little thinner. And sometimes you just have to be flexible. Oh, fun. And when you're flexible, see the white plate didn't use, work that time, even though it says it was for die cutting. These are all Stampin' Up! products. So sometimes you just need to call in. And I think the difference in height is minimal, but sometimes you just have to use the different plate. And life is so much better. So that is the little stamp and cut and emboss machine. Well, have fun making your graduation card and your baby card. Have you seen the little dreamer stamp set? They are so cute um, for making, I think, little people cards. New baby cards. Good thing about the post-it note tape too is it is reusable. Sometimes I only got one use out of a post-it note. I don't know why I'm so thir thirsty today. Whew. I'm 
nerves probably about if this was going to work or not. So we're going to set this chunk of paper aside. I'm going to set our three roosters aside and put our dies. I think we're mostly done with those, but we're not going to put them far. So our first card we're going to make has a, car, a red card base, four and a quarter by 11. This part gets to go pretty fast. And then we're going to go ahead and load this on here. Load. <laughs> Adhere this on here. And. Not a fan of the green glue except for when I'm putting layers on because then I can wiggle a little bit. This paper is from the Zany Zoo pack. And we're layering this guy up. I have to remember which one's which. That one goes, the other one, that one goes, that one. Okay, this one's a song. All right. <laughs> I told, I had to remember. I have all the ideas. I was like, okay, which, which bird goes with which? This is going to go on here next, but we're going to, we're going to stamp a little on this. So we're going to get out the birthday cake. This one's going to go here. Actually, I think we're going to put it, I cut out some. fence earlier. It looks like I got chewed up on the end. So use the fence as a drop and then we're going to stamp a birthday cake on the fence. But before we do that, we're going to give it just a little, little background. If you hang out with me very often, you know I like to do a little background. And this isn't going to work with the plan I have, so we just changed plans. See how that works? Okay. So, get out a blue. This is the basic borders die set. Oh, I bet it was. Um, last week was I did the Gone Fishing Um I did the Gone Fishing Bundle as my free class, and it was, I really like that one. I forgot, I got that one out for later. I need to get a blue, which is not hard. I love balmy blue. Very happy that Misty Moonlight came back. But I just want just a little bit of tech, a little bit of color on the back. So it's not just white. And we'll give it some clouds. So all, that's all I'm doing is um, adding just a little bit, taking off most of it. And oh, I'm so grateful this is working today. I was in such a panic yesterday, especially when I found out it was my laptop. I was like, oh, I don't want to buy a new laptop. So there is my little clouds really quick. Just to give it some dimension in the back, right? Okay. So we'll put this away. And I was going to stamp this directly on here. It probably still could. Okay. I'm going to do this. Because the birthday, you know, would have to be up top. All right. I'll overlap those a little bit. Maybe with a pencil, I'll mark where I kind of want the birthday cake to go. <laughs> we'll fix the fencing as we need to. All right. I think it'll work. Because I wasn't planning. I There is a die for this, but I wasn't planning on die cutting get this out stamp this and then I'm going to just kind of sort of try to hit that pencil mark 
nothing really spectacular. And if I don't like it, I can always do one on top of it. All right. So then we're going to put the fence in. We can even go with the long one there. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to use some glue dots because I want a little dimension, but not a lot. So I use glue dots when I want just a little bit of a lift, but not much. All right, there's that. All right, I don't know which way to go. And then we're going to... Where is it's your birthday? We're going to put that over here. Remember, if you want this card set, you are welcome to place an order with me. The link I put in, I, it doesn't come in my group. My group people know where it is. But if you are on, um, in my, on my page or on YouTube, the link is just right above in the comments. Um, you can also find all information you need at Linktree, which is right, ah, right down here on my screen. I have all my links that you need set up there. So there's that. I need my, and I did that wrong. I just did that wrong. Hmm. So that means, ah, uh, ugh. That means we're going to backtrack a little bit. And I don't know how I knew I was going to screw that up, but I did. So I am just going to do this fast. No talking allowed. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. I had a plan yesterday. Yesterday it was all in my head. The whole plan. So the fact that I just screwed one up, I'm not really surprised. But this way you know that you're not the only one that messes up if you're one that messes up. So there we go. We have some quick clouds. I just keep one of these at my desk or at my table. And off I go with it. All right, get the blue out of here. So knowing how this is working we're going to put the it's your birthday over here. <sighs> there we go. Oh, we need the little cake. We're going to wing it. Winging it is what got us in trouble last time. Change of plans. Okay. It's actually the cake actually turned out better that time. So the cake should be red. Because that's what we put as our background color. So, ooh, that brushes out a little too far. When that happens, you just push them in. I think during shipping and jiggling around and everything, they come loose. Bright red birthday cake. And bright yellow flame. Oh, I can't use that in. Don't let your daughter use your blends to color pipe cleaners. My daughter was an elementary school edge, uh, elementary ed major in college and she needed, she needed colored pipe cleaners and I didn't have any. So there. 
So she used my blends. Not my best idea. All right, now we're gonna put this together. I'm sure glad I made extra fence posts. I wonder if I can get that one off. Sure. Okay, we're gonna throw that piece away. Rough it up a little. All right, now this is where we were earlier. I'm <laughs> sorry for the backup. Fast forward to that part. Tell your friends. I'd love it if you told your friends. That'd be awesome. So there we go. And then we're going to put him up here. So he can be suspiciously eyeing it. But he didn't fit all the way on there. That's why I didn't just stamp him on there. All right. We are going to put him on with some little dimensionals. So if you were a part of my paper share, I have all the paper ordered. If you were in on the optional class that came with it, I have that all ordered and ready. Coming soon. So it will be here next week and I will get that cut out and out to you next week. Unless something major weird happens, which, you know, life, 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 life. These are cut from the country. If you're curious, these are from the countryside corner dies. If you're wondering where I got this shape from. Countryside corner dies. This on with dimensionals. Use some of the big guys for this one. And we need a little bling. There's much for bling in that set. Get my bling box. Can you use that one? I never plan my bling, sorry. Never plan my bling. Where's the one I'm thinking about? I could, I don't know if I use those. Sadly, I've got old bling and new bling mixed up right now. I pulled my stamp sets, but I didn't pull. I'm going to see about that one. I'm going to grab my catalog quick. I don't want to use bling that's not current. Because then you fall in love with it and you can't get it. All right, bling. Where are you? Close. And they're current. Woohoo! So I'm just going to add some more black polka dots. Mary, you'll have to go back to my last week video and um, check out the gone fishing cards that I made. Maybe it'll inspire you to make a couple more. All right, take your pick tool. And this card is done. Camera crooked or am I crooked? She's kind of crooked. He's crooked. So card number one with the Hey Chuck set. 
All right. Stay till the end because that's the fun fold one. It's pretty cute. I used a pattern that my friend Heidi had and it was it's awesome. I'm excited about that one. So oh. my towers runneth over. Put these away. My next one is a fairly simple one, actually. When I think of roosters, I think sun coming up in the morning, that kind of thing. So that's what I thought of with this card. This card has a standard card base that's eight and a half by five and a half. Ugh. And so this is crushed curry. I try to make it bright for waking up. Oh, thank you, Mary. Um, and so like I said, this one's a quick one. <laughs> if it all goes well. And so we have crushed curry and then we have daffodil delight. And then this is lemon lolly. This is the new lemon lolly. So those are our three major yellows right now with Stampin' Up. Mm. Sorry about the water drinking. I tell ya. Probably because oh, I've been talking a lot today, but my daughter came home from college today. Actually, she came home from work today. She graduated from college, like I said, with an elementary education degree two weeks ago. And then she's been subbing in kindergarten. So the other stamp set that we're going to incorporate into this is the Rays of Light stamp set. So I thought this went really well with the roosters waking up. And this one, if you don't have a block that's big enough or you don't want to use the block, you can just open up your case and use this as a just put, to put your you can ink up the stamp this way boy i am tongue-tied today I keep waiting for my internet to go down or my computer to be weird or i just need to breathe and stamp all right so if you do it this way there you have it. So I use lemon lolly on it. So I'm doing lemon lolly on lemon lolly. And then I am just going to, I want to make sure I get quite a bit of that sun there. And then just make sure you get your edges. Yes, you might end up with inky fingers, but hey, who hasn't done that before, right? Okay. And then when it picks up. Just peel this off. And there we have our sun beam. Now I need to set this aside because I'm not going to clean it. I usually, then I just take my chamois over the top of it. All right. And this is the one that, nope, that's not it. This is the one that gets this card. We're going to give him a fence post also. They all get fence posts, I think, today. So, and we're going to stamp on this one. Rise and shine. And I don't you thinking of you, I don't know, you send this to your favorite morning person? I don't know. That would be my husband. My husband is my favorite morning person. He gets up only a couple hours after I go to bed. We're odd. We're an odd couple. All right. I'm a late nighter. He is an early morninger. But I think we like it that way. Don't tell him that. But I think we like it that way. Because then we both have our own time to ourselves. We didn't get married until he was in his 30s. I was not quite there yet. <laughs> but close. Anyway, I think it's our way of just having our own time. 
And our kids, we have two early mornings and one night owl. So, <laughs> apparently, apparently the morning jeans are a little stronger than the night owl jeans. All right, where's my card? So we're gonna put this on here. I have a sun. Do I have a sun? No. Okay, no, I'm not using a sun on this one. I said I forgot. I wish I could get a cup of coffee in this rooster's hands because I think him saying rise and shine with a cup of coffee in his hand would have been perfect. So anyway, we're going to add some dimensionals. I could add a lot of Winkostella to these rays to make them bright and shiny. But I don't have a lot of Winkostella, so I might use a little Winkostella. to add some. I don't know when it's coming back. It is coming back. Maybe if I cleaned my craft room, I'd find a spare one. Do you think? Wouldn't that be awesome? All right. I told you, this one's quick. This one is a quick card because I think that Rays of Light stamp set did wonders. This one's just stamp, ink, and but the next one's a fun fold, so stick around for that one. Um, a few years ago, some friends of mine and I decided to do, or a friend of mine invited me to do classes, Rise and Shine, with, um, she had this idea to do stamping classes using demonstrators from across the United States. And she asked me if I wanted to be a part of it. And I said, yes, I did. So that's how I met Heidi. And I'm going to have enough Wink Estella. Woohoo. I'm not doing every ray, just some of them. Can you see the iridescence there? Yeah, I'm not seeing a lot of it. But anyway. So I met Heidi and we've done retreats ever since. So if you'd like to join us, our next one is in September, September 30th. And I'm going to get some of those, some of the bling that I almost used last time. Because I know these are lemon lolly. So I'm just going to grab them with this. A lot of times I don't show a lot of what to do on the inside of the card unless it's something special, but rise and shine you can put, it's your birthday, that would be a cute one to put in here. Or um, uh, just wanted to say hello this bright morning or I don't know, something. And I should grab a better tool than my scissors, but this is working. So there you have it. Rise and shine. So that's card number two. Card number one. Card number one. Card number two. And now for the fun fold. And like I said before, if you place a $40 order with me, I will send you the card kits to make these. Uh, I have bling coming off on my finger. Well, we're not gonna take time to fix it now. I'd like Stampin' Up! to come up with a better system of, for the, embellishments because they're all 
different sizes and they're all different packaging and yeah that's my wish card number three <clears throat> starts with a card base that is eight and a half by no 11 by four and a quarter then I scored it at half one one and a half and six and a quarter. I also have some pattern paper. So then I took a circle and I cut it out of the middle and I'll do all this for you in your card kits. And then we're gonna fold this back. I'm gonna let this be for a minute. Then I had a piece of designer series paper and this is from the fishing set. Um, and it is four by four and a quarter. I think I cut the hole in this paper first and then this one. You can use, we don't have the layering circles anymore. So I use the stylus shapes and the stylus shapes. I use the stylus shapes twice. So anyway, then we're gonna add this. So my friend's recipe that I'm using card recipe for lack of a better word. Um, her name is Heidi Collins and she is a phenomenal demonstrator and one of my good friends. So she did a live using this pattern not too long ago. Uh, I didn't get this right. I have to give this side a little haircut later because it's not even. So when it's already glued down and it's not e lining up even, that's when you give it just a little haircut. So close your eyes. This is not a part of the regular show. <laughs> now they're even. You just have to take a little off the side, right? You go to your haircut. See, they, they match up better now. <laughs> so the next thing we're gonna do I'm going to take a, yeah, a piece of cardstock that is four by four and a half. And I, there's actually two of these. We're only really going to deal with one right now. And we're going to glue it back here. I've got stuff everywhere. Oh, see, there's the host code. It's emphasizing the host code for you. If your order when you want these card kits is over $50, I'll also send you an embellishment and a set of card tutorials that have 40, there's 44, excuse me, um, card tutorials. And like I said, if you have ordered already from me this month, I am a little behind, but I'm gonna get caught up. My daughter is home to help me and she might not know it yet, but yeah. All right, so then I have this. I saw this little flap down here, which is fine. So now I'm going to get my stamp and this stamp is the one I haven't inked up yet. Oh, imagine that. Ooh, shake, rattle and roll. And I'm not gonna do that right now. Okay, remember that fun little, we're going to make some clouds first. That's all we're doing. I didn't screw up. I just didn't get the clouds added quite yet. I like the cloud. I don't like white backgrounds when it could look like a sky. A beautiful sky. All right. Here goes. It's only where that little window is. That's all you're going to really see. We are expecting thunderstorms tonight. So we have lots of clouds in northeastern Montana. Actually, if I look out that window, it's blue sky. I'm stuck in the basement. So I like it down here. It's quieter. I thought I had wild hair. I was going to move my craft room upstairs in my son's old bedroom. 
<laughs> he was not impressed. But that being said, I was going to do that and I was up there and the phone rings and you can hear everyone's phone calls and you, I have one chance to do this, so I am going to make sure it's inking properly. So I think I've, in my videos, I need some, a quieter spot. So I think we're staying in the basement. Hmm, not perfectly straight, but we're going to roll with that. I can always fix this later, maybe, or we're just going to go with a little crooked. Not that bad. Let me turn the card sideways. Okay, so knowing where that is, I took a sun from the dies. The dies have walked off. I don't know where my dies went. Anyway. There's a sun die. It started here. You saw them earlier. Anyway, I'm going to put my sun die. So it looks like the sun is rising. Because like I said, roosters to me are when the sun's coming up. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. It does not go there. It's a good thing that's not going to show. I have red fingers. And there you have it. Okay, so now it's going to show through the window. You've got something to crow about. Got some little clouds in the back. You can't really see them, but I can. Okay, so now we're going to finish building the front. You have this guy. He's the one that's crowing. And I think I have one more. Oh, I know what I was going to put on that last one. Maybe we'll put it in this one. I did make one of the weather vanes. Make it so it's in the background. Hmm. I might play with that. I might add it to the other card still. Okay, so this is going to go here. We don't want it to go below this. We don't want to go below where it's going to fold back. Okay, it's going to fold there. So we don't want it to go below there. So we'll add that with some dimensionals. I kind of like getting all the stamping out ahead of time. That was kind of fun. All the stamping and um, die cutting. That was good. Might have to try that on future classes. So this is the guy that's crowing. Need to make sure he's inside the card space. And we're going to put some on him. We can't put any. On the tail feathers. So put one on his head. One on his body. Okay, so this is the fun fold part. So now we have him ready to go. He's crowing at the sun, of course, but so you're going to take this and you're going to accordion fold it back and forth and back and forth because those were the half, one and one and a half. And we're just going to crease those pretty well. And then I'm going to take a piece of tear and tape because if you watch me at all, you know there's almost always tear and tape involved. Be sure to say hello in the comments if you haven't yet. Love to hear from you. So, tear and tape. I'm more of a guesstimator as opposed to measuring it out. All right. So take the 
backing off the tear and tape. And bring this down and close your card. So it makes a little stand up. You can't see it when I do that, but you will see that it stands up. And there is a little pop-up card. But it folds nicely. It fits in a standard size envelope. And it is cuter than cute. My friend Heidi, when I saw her do this, she did one with the Zany Zoo, Daisies, and the Monkeys. Cuter than cute. Isn't this a fun fold, Mary? I just, oh, I had, just, I had to do something with it. So I don't know where I'm going to put this. I don't think it's going to go there. It might be on another card. So then you cut two of these um, four by four and a half sheets. And then this is what you put on the back. For somebody to write on so you've got something to crow about um, we could put congratulations we could put um happy birthday and maybe we'll just do that we'll just do the birthday that was kind of my plan so you've got something to crow about and where's my birthday so we'll go ahead and jazz up this back here and i hear more thunder and of course you have to have a birthday cake, right? Put it down here. And I'm not gonna get fancy and chase too many other colors around. So we will have, I'll start with the candle. Oh, that's, why do I always grab that end? Too cheap to throw it away before it's actually used up, but. So we will have a yellow cake this time. Um, dark Daffodil Delight. No, well, we'll stick with the red cake. I just like red these days, especially with the roosters. So. If you got this out with the Hey Chick, I bet there'd be chicken feed and all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. And we may as well just use the blue again that we used before. And go ahead and pop this in. So if you order from me by next when no next Thursday, we decided you can get two sets of these kits all cut out for you. I cannot do any of the stamping but I can have all the cardstock and designer series paper ready for you. And I will mail those to you. If your order is $50 or more, I will also include an embellishment and a tutorial bundle that has 44 tutorials in it. It's pretty cool. I'm a part of a group and we, we do that. By the way, this has been going, I think the tutorial or the embellishment for this particular class will definitely be these if I can get them. All right, I'm going back to my old reliable. This is an old paper piercing tool. You can't get them from Stampin' Up! anymore, but I still love them. I don't know that I needed to use blue, but that's the guy that was trying to escape earlier. So we'll put a couple here. And then we can do a couple of things in here. I don't know that I wanted to put that there. There. So there you have it. That is card number three. We will put the weather vane over there. I don't know. Let's take a look. Maybe we want to add it to that other card. That's what I intended it for is the black and white card. That's why I was looking confused. I was like, what am I going to put there? But yeah, that doesn't work there. So these are our cards for the class this week. 
for the Hey Chuck class. And oh, it's not even up, fitting on my screen. There you go. Cards number one, two, and three. Oh, I love tear and tape. It's always, I always have tear and tape up on my tape table. So, Hey Chuck would look great with Hey Chick. I haven't gotten there yet. So here is this week's class. Thank you so much for crafting with me. And thank you, technology gods, for letting my technology work for me today. Have a wonderful weekend. I hope you get to do something fun. And I hope you get to honor our veterans. And if you're in the United States, otherwise, I hope you just have a great weekend. Thanks for crafting with me. Bye-bye.